Hey guys, this is Nicholas live here in uh, beautiful Krakow. And um, yesterday I met a stranger in a bus. I was going from the airport to uh, the city center of Krakow where I'm right now. And uh, this guy was helping me get around uh, and he was interested in Bitcoin as well. So I offered my professional advisory to him in exchange uh, for all his help. And uh, he gave me Wi-Fi and stuff uh, when I needed to uh, send a message. So we had a really interesting conversation and I wanted to uh, tell you guys uh, what exactly I talked about. Now, most people are, are concerned with the prices. Most people, um, for example, on Steam it, are always looking at how many dollars the post has made. Now, I think the whole obsession with prices everyone has is a big issue because it, it's, it's a tree that blinds you from the forest. and. We can all see how crypto right now is at its all-time high of fundamentals. The work being built, the development being put in, the infrastructure there is at its all-time high. And, and the prices are, are pretty much at the yearly all-time lows. And everyone is saying how, how Bitcoin has been going down forever. Uh, I was speaking to some, some random girl, I, actually, actually a, a friend of mine, and uh, she she said, um, she overheard that I was saying that I'm, I'm in crypto. She's like, like, how's that working out? Like, hasn't it been going down forever? I'm like, yeah, but the, the price has been going out, up for like three years or two years. It has to go down sometimes. And hence, we're going down for last year or so. And at the end of the day, you cannot predict the price. And people are obsessed with trying to predict the price. However, the next best thing, or, or, or even better, is predicting the actual wave, the market cycle. Because I believe it's way more important understanding where you are in the market cycle today than knowing what price tomorrow is gonna be. Because even if you're 100% certain you know what the price is gonna be tomorrow, if there is even one more of you that believe, feels the same way, and there's thousands and millions of people who try to predict the market, so if there's at least one other person that thinks like you, which is very possible, that's enough to make that prediction not come true. It's like as if a time machine existed. If you, if you knew what's gonna happen tomorrow, but just the fact that you know it's gonna happen, you might alter the, the actual outcome. So, so no matter how advanced your, your tactics, technical analysis, indicators, whatever you use, uh, fractals, you name it, the fact that more people are using it makes it not a viable way to predict the price. Unless you were to invent something only you and nobody else knows, sure, it might work for a couple days before somebody else invents it. Stuff gets invented in multiple places in the world at the same time all the time. We're, we're only human, we only have a limited capacity of possible options on our brain can put together, and you can bet there's somebody else thinking exactly like you somewhere out there. It's, it's a huge role. So my point is that price prediction is impossible. However, market cycle understanding and sentiment understanding, fundamental understanding is priceless and it is possible. It's actually quite easy. What I told this, this random stranger yesterday was that if you're outside of crypto, this is a good time to look at dollar cost averaging. Let's say you you want to you have one thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars. Let's make it a round number. You have ten thousand dollars. You really want to put in crypto. What you do is you take ten percent, which is a thousand dollars, and you put it in this week. You get the best price you can get. Next week you buy it for the best price you can. The other one thousand dollars, and then for ten weeks, that's all, more than two months. That's almost like two and a half months of, of you pretty much spread your risk over more than two months so even if, as long as the bottom is somewhere close to, uh, to one of these prices over the next two months you are super safe because we know the market cycle is, is at its low right now we know that the chances of going down low uh, more lower are, are probable but the reversal has to happen sooner or later and um, nobody can predict the reversal but you can pretty much just spread out your bullets take a nice fat shotgun and you'll hit something and you will get a really low buy or you know an average buy 
kind of bad buy, but you will average out to a really good entry. And as long as that entry is at the bottom of the market cycle, all you have to do is wait for the top of the market cycle and you're good. As soon as you start hearing people shout from the rooftops how Bitcoin is going to a million, then you should reconsider that we are at the top of the market cycle. So it's, it's as easy as listening to what people are t talking, just, just, just lurking telegrams, looking at looking slacks. And that pretty much represents how most people think in crypto. If I, I don't even look at TA, but I look at messages of normal people in crypto. I'm in many, many crypto chats and I see how the majority of people in crypto think because there's only so many ways to think in crypto. And it's, it's kind of obvious if you're if part of two or three chats and enough, it's enough to give you quite a good sample rate of what people think. And don't make friends with TA, make friends with crypto people and, and see what they think and do the opposite. It may sound funny, but as long as you're doing the opposite of what most people are doing, you're, you're pretty good. Anyway, um, stay safe and look at the big picture, guys. I'll see you later.